don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we have the privilege of taking a look at Kang Toys uh, fifth version of their mini uh, Pretty King, uh, this is the mini monkey pants right, um, CY Mini 05 Thor Mini, and this is their version of I, I guess Optimus Primal, or um, maybe a, an evil version of that, I don't know, I don't really care. So long as it makes a nice looking Pretty King, I'm willing to deal with it. So, opening the box, we get collector's card and instructions. We'll uh, play with the instructions here in a little bit. As usual, nice foam packaging. Here's the figure. Ay, ay, ay. Just like that. Okay, stand up there. He comes with, what in the world is that? A gun. And that, I believe, was a sword that just fell into the floor. <laughs> yes, it was a sword. Nice looking sword, I wonder. Oh, and that's the, uh, that's the hilt for uh, the big guy's sword. All right. Let's see, I don't see anything else in here. Nothing under the foam. So we're calling this as an empty box. We're gonna get the box out of the way. All right, so why don't we go ahead and zoom in here a little bit so we can take a look at the figure. How close can I get before it starts getting really blurry? Actually, that's pretty good. So looking at the figure, you can see he has quite a bit of paint on him. Looks really nice. Really, really nice. Looks also like he's got some uh, light piping. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get that going here. If I shake the camera, I apologize. Let's see. If we can maybe... Oh, come on, in focus. Oh yeah, that looks quite nice. I do like that. Looks very nice. All right, so we know the light piping works, and from my perspective, that's a good thing. The head, as I said, has the the clear translucent, nice looking head sculpt. I do like that. Uh, you can go up that far, down that far. You can twist around. Feels like it's on a ball peg. Coming down the chest, we have this beautiful gold, uh, the red. The arms, we have red and gold, and some little tampograph stuff. Let's see, shoulder pad, oh, shoulder pad goes all the way up like that, so no problem there. Arm is on a ball peg, so you get full range of motion there. Uh, bicep rotation? Yes, no. Very, very stiff bicep rotation, but it is there. Um, very, very, it's on that mushroom peg you can see right there, but it's very, very stiff. I'm not sure it's tolerant. Well, lots of uh, molded, molded, uh, tampograph detail here. The fist is in a continuous holding pattern, and while we're looking, yes, that fist can hold the gun just fine. Long peg there. And the sword. Hmm. Sword acts like it's a bit big, but it will go in. I don't know. I don't don't trust putting it in there for too much. This this has a premium paint job on it. I'm afraid it's gonna take the paint off. The gun here looks nice too. All right, coming on, and the hand can go down a little bit um, and up some. Elbow bend, single single hinge? No, nope, double hinge gets you. Past 90 degrees. All right. Waist rotation, no problem, although it is bumping a little bit into this back section here. 
ab crunch no he has hip skirts so you can get those up and out of the way goes that far forward does it go back yes it does so that's his uh, forward and back joints are quite stiff out to the sides he can do the full Chinese splits no problem okay all right thigh rotation is built around another mushroom peg you can see right there knee is limited apparently not uh, apparently this locks in place and when it does apparently it's messing with the knee so yeah he can get a 90 degree out of the knee you just got to unpeg that that portion there which is probably not a good thing to do when you're trying to get the robot to stand up straight there we go yep because it locks in place so it locks the knee in something to something to consider here as we're messing with this thing the feet can go up a little bit back a little bit and you get a good rocker all right that's his articulation initial impressions um, here he is from the back not the cleanest thing I've ever seen but uh, hmm so it looks like these little bits right here plug in right here Yeah, that works. All right. Yeah, goes right in, just like that. All right, initial impressions, I like it. I think it's fine. Uh, it's a mini scale figure, so yeah. Let's back out just a tinch and use our old buddy Nemesis Prime here for comparison. Again, uh, newer scale versus the old scale. All right, who you calling old? Ah! Anyway, yeah, let's take some pictures. Uh, I'll put him in a nice pose. And we'll take some pictures and then transform him into his monkey mode. Why don't we transform him? I have done so once, and I have to tell you, it, it's really not all that complicated. Uh, according to the directions, it's basically just 19, 20 steps. So, yeah, and the directions are all in color and looks good. All right. Uh, one thing before we get started, I should have shown the pictures at this point. I'm really surprised at how much bigger he is than the others, but then it's not really all that surprising. Uh, he's going to be, you know, the, the thighs and the crotch, so, and the waist, so I guess he has to be a little bit bigger than the other ones. But anyway, excuse me, I digress. I, I'm going to start here with the hands. You open up this panel, you pull this down right here, flip the hand in, close the panel. You have two grooves here, uh, two pegs in a series of grooves. I will say that they don't hold as well as I would prefer, but that's how you do the arm. And then you rotate at that mushroom peg to give him that kind of monkey arm, I guess. Let's see here. Do the same thing over here. Real quick, pop that in, just like that. Pop this one out takes some force to get those on there and they don't really hold as well as you would like but that's how you do the arms for the head we come back here and we pull this apart right we have to push the head through it's right here right so you gotta kind of get in here and grab a hold of it and just pull the head up take this head the robot head rotate it around and it will fill into that cavity. This will come back up 
and it will plug back into the shoulders there just like that and that my friends represents the head now as far as the 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 legs the lower legs well i guess he only has one set of legs i have discovered uh things have a tendency to hit so lift this panel up back here lift up both hip skirts and you should be able to rotate it around if you don't do that you're gonna have issues just just trust trust time on this now rotate at the thigh open up this panel right here collapse and pull the leg uh, I guess you have to pull it back but make it look like that come down here utilize your ankle rocker rotate it around put it back into place come down here to the foot open this up and there you go same thing on this side rotate it at the thigh open up this panel here pull your leg all the way up like that bring this down rotate around open up your monkey feet put it back and here oh and lay this down like that here he is uh, this is this is him in monkey mode this is it it's not bad uh, I do think that they probably figured this was going to be a throwaway mode I also noticed that in the directions they open up his hand here which it can can open gives him a, a little bit extra uh, to, to put his knuckles on just so it looks a, a little bit better I truly believe, I think they figured this was going to be the throwaway mode. Alright, um, I'll do pictures of this and then we'll pop him into combined mode. So we're going to try and transform this thing and let me tell you uh, the directions here are pretty crappy uh, as far as trying to get this thing into combined mode mostly it centers around the idea that you should probably know what you're doing already and that's just not the case but the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to close off the, the feet and slide the heel spurs in like that uh, that's just the first thing I'm gonna do I really hope I can remember how to do this properly I really really do all right so I did this once uh, I'm sorry the uh, I've already got it backwards so the legs when you when you're looking at this right in monkey mode they're like this but you want them out a little bit further so that you get the wider stance so you have to lift up your hip skirts here and rotate here right here so we're going to rotate it around bring it down that's going to give you the wider stance that you wish for for this uh, at that point remember you're going from monkey mode so you're going to rotate these around right now these pins right here need to go into this slot right here. It's not the easiest thing to do. And I, I spent the longest time trying to get them into those slots, and it's that's just not where you're supposed to put them. So this comes up and works its way in just like that. Now you need to hook your knee together to secure it in place. And if you do it right, it should just rock forward and that'll make a solid leg okay so we need to bring up this one and hook it in here like this and then we do like that and now we have two relatively solid legs these are just going to come down okay now rotate your I'm sorry you should have done that first um, 
you have to untab it and rotate it so that it fits in. You want it looking like this, okay? With the pretty gold stuff towards the back where of the robot mode and gorilla mode crotch is. Undo this. This is on a hinge. It's going to slide all the way up and there's a tab and a slot right here. And there is a tab and a slot right here. It's pretty self-explanatory once you once you look at it and you figure it out, it's got two connecting points and they're going to stay right there. So unhook this, rotate it up, and then uh, rotate it to where it works. Ah, the camera's on. Something here. What has happened? All right. There, that one's in. There, that one's in. Now we need to get the combiner ports out and the best way I have discovered to do it is just to push here right and that releases this and then you can just pull these all the way down so that they look like that again push in right and that releases all of this and that'll come right on down and this is not in, locked in place otherwise it would not have moved right there and we lock it in place with just the standard connection, right? So, open it up. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that's solid now. All right. And that primarily is the lower back part of this. Next, we want to take the back off, right? And there are two little uh, flank clips open these up just like that okay this will allow you to take this part of the chest and just pull it forward and out what happens when you do that is you've got this little armature here we'll play with this here in a minute take your head here for the gorilla head and you want to feed it through you're gonna have to play with it to get it to work right but it's got to go all the way in and around basically so that this comes out there's a lot going on here I really hope I can remember okay so this if I remember correctly is going to rotate around maybe I hope it showed it rotating um, I tell you what for purposes of the transformation this is a c-clip and it's just on here like this. This will make this hopefully a little bit easier for everyone to see. I'm just getting these shoulder pauldrons out of the way. There is a rotational joint right here that will allow you to pull the arm forward. Take your monkey mode and this bit right here is going to plug in right here like it was going back into um, uh, you know robot mode, right? Okay. I'm going to show you all the picture here. Hopefully you can see that this is how it needs to look in the front. So you basically just have to rotate and work and do until you get... Basically you want it like... Um, is that right? That is not right. Hang on a second, I'll get one and I'll show you how, how it's done. This is how we want this done. I want to zoom in here just a little bit so you all can see it. We need to mirror this side to look like this with these two little things showing here and the fist like this. And this all the way down on this slider. So, let me see if I can do that on camera. It's a, it's a might easier said than done. So let's see here. This is going to rotate around. This is going to rotate that way. This is going to plug in. This is going to plug in. This is going to come down like that. Okay. And then the shoulder pauldrons, uh, they're on multiple joints here 
just line them up the best you can. You can do this, it just takes a little bit of effort uh, to, to figure out how exactly they're supposed to go. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. And it comes down. There may be multiple ways of dealing with the shoulder pauldron here. I'm not sure. The last thing we do, if, if you're like me and you just pop this off ball peg, uh, the C-clip, you just plug it back in. <laughs> you just plug it back in. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, part of the issue with this, and I was right, we were supposed to rotate this. is that this just kind of sits here. Uh, it doesn't actually do anything. It just kind of rests here. And the way the instructions show it, it looks like it should go in all the way, but I, I haven't been able to figure out how to make that work. Who knows? All right, so last thing we do here Oh, and uh, this crotch piece moves down. Last thing we do here is we kind of unfold these and bring them out, rotate them around, and unfold them. And then this comes, works its way down because these have to go back into the shoulders there. Here's your combiner port, by the way. Um, maybe this comes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. No wonder it wasn't working right. This comes out like this and rotates down like that. That's why it was giving me grief, because you have to have the combiner port to where you can get to it. This has got to come down. It's on a slider comes down and it should slide back in shouldn't it I thought it did what am I doing wrong I've, I've missed another step here folks somewhere somehow oh I don't want to sit here and be fighting with this until tomorrow because that's just not right This is not the most stable thing I have ever seen. Now, I, as always, as always, I grant user error, right? Um, it's entirely possible. I just may not know what in the world I'm doing. I grant that. I always grant that. But at the same time, there's clips here that should go in to secure it. And they just did. Okay, <laughs> although it's not the strongest connection I've ever worked with, but it did go in. All right, so you get something that looks like this. And again, I, I don't like this. It doesn't secure as well as I would prefer. The directions seem to show these going in here, but they just don't. And there's not really any way to to lock them in place. They just kind of rest there. It's not the most convenient thing I've ever seen. All right, so tell you what, I'm going to get Tantrum and, uh, oh, whatever his name is, uh, into Rampage into their feet mode and we'll combine them. Do, 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 do. Well, uh, as you can see, the monkey pants here do actually work. They form thighs and a waist. Uh, hmm, what to say about this? One thing I have to point out, I'm not going to promise that I have Rampage and uh, Tantrum correct. 
it it took me 45 minutes to get to this point and I finally said enough is enough and here's where I stopped so yeah good or bad this is what you get let's talk let's talk about this for a minute because honestly I don't ever expect to transform this out of this mode I think this is exactly how it's going to be uh, I think this is going to be the rest of the reviews are going to be here so let's talk about this um, it's relatively stable if you hold it from both sides uh, it falls apart if you touch it at, at the uh, opposite ends that's that's a problem uh, hmm what to say about this I'm really hoping that they will find some way to stabilize this thing a bit right now it's one of those situations where if you mess with it things start falling apart and, and that's just not that's not good that's, that's not good at all also this is going to be a uh, relatively tall combiner I, I believe in relation to I mean here here's uh, who is that new age magic square one of them superior and here is their Bruticus Bruticus um, Menasaur so he's gonna be quite substantial quite substantial which I, I'm actually okay with that because you know the the two largest ones in my opinion are always uh, pretty King and uh, Constructicons uh, whatever their names are Devastator the playability of this it's lacking it's lacking primarily because you can't do much with it this is going to be one of those when you get it in place it's going to stay there it does have nice la latching points here to help keep this stable at least around the neck and the joint here and this one is fine as well I don't know, the materials feel okay it's just it suffers from this is trying to do too much, uh, I believe. And let's be honest, as far as I'm concerned, the monkey mode was a throwaway mode. Uh, it, it was just bleh. Bleh. Robot mode was okay. Honestly, I, I would have been just as happy to have gotten this piece right here just as uh, like a standalone piece without any need to transform it. Nothing cost of this it was not cheap uh, if memory serves I can't remember I bought it at TF direct I think it was I think I think it was like 40 bucks I wouldn't pay for it for 40 bucks if, if as a standalone figure no as part of a combiner yeah but even then I'm not I mean I'm really of two minds on this I'm really of two minds on this. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see just exactly how this is going to play out. But, uh, for those of you who are curious, really quickly, uh, according to my measurement here, uh, about seven inches from here to the top of here. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a decent sized figure. In fact, one quick comparison here. Let me bring this out just to give you a better idea what we're looking at. So he's not quite, actually his waist is like an inch and a half, maybe smaller than the Studio Series or whatever this Menasaur is. Uh, remember, this is the one with the upgrade, the DNA upgrade kit. So you got to take that into account, but yeah um yeah mp10 again comparison so he's he is going to be a hefty boy here's the robot paradise sound wave so yeah just to give you a proper scale comparison 
it's okay. It's a nightmare, at least it was for me, uh, to try to get it into this mode, and I still don't know if I've got it right. I don't mind complex transformations necessarily, so long as I can see I've got it right when it's done. If it's not right, or if there's a question about whether or not I can make it right, I don't want to mess with it. I just don't. So, yeah. This is a recommend for me only if you're going to make it into Predaking. If you're not like the plague, avoid it. Avoid it. Anyway, this is Tom. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next review. Thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. Vitamin John, apparatus are standing by.